The Echo 11 Thunderbolt 4 dock is an advanced docking station solution from Sonnet. It plays nice with Intel or Apple Silicon Max and also works with the M1 or M2 iPad Pro. If you're looking for a dock that can simplify your workspace for a price that's least expensive among its competitors, then I think you'll find the Echo 11 Thunderbolt 4 dock to be a great value. Let's take a closer look. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and get it unboxed. Here it is. This is the Echo 11 Thunderbolt 4 dock. Typical Sonnet packaging, which is nice and simple, straight to the point. So inside the box, you'll find a quick start guide. You'll find a Thunderbolt 4 cable, and you'll also find the power brick and the power cable as well. So that power cable connects to this reasonably sized power brick, and then you simply connect the barrel connector to the dock. Here's a closer look at the Thunderbolt 4 cable. Let's get the dock unwrapped. And here's the top of the dock with the Sonnet logo. And then here is the bottom of the dock with the non-slip feet to keep it secure on your desk. Speaking of which, there is a lock slot if you wanna use that. Here is the front of the dock, as you can see, and here's the rear. So a very generous amount of IO found on this dock. Let's go ahead and explore it a little more in depth. So you have 11 interfaces in all. So here is the front panel of the dock. So let's explore each interface briefly. We have the SD card 4.0 slot, which supports UHS-2, USB 2.0 charging port. You have a 3.5 millimeter combo port. You have your computer slash charging port. That's your uplink to your computer. And you have a separate power and Thunderbolt link indicator. So you can tell not only when it's powered on, but when it's connected to the host computer. And then finally on the front panel, you'll find a power switch, which you can actually press and turn the dock on or off. So let's mosey on around to the opposite side of the dock. Here's the rear panel. That's where you'll find your 20 volt DC socket input for power. You have three Thunderbolt 4 peripheral ports, and that's super nice. And then you also have a gigabit ethernet port, and you have three USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports supporting up to 10 gigabits per second connectivity. So the great thing about Thunderbolt docks, and this dock is no exception, is that it allows you to connect to multiple peripherals, multiple different interfaces via a single Thunderbolt connection, just like that. So from your Mac to the uplink port on the dock, and instantly you have access to all the IO that's connected to this dock. So with that in mind, you get three Thunderbolt 4 peripheral ports and these support USB, Thunderbolt 3, or Thunderbolt 4 connectivity. So you can directly attach three Thunderbolt peripherals in daisy chain up to a total of five devices. So with a single cable, I'm connecting to the Pro Display XDR, I'm connecting to my audio interface, I'm connecting to gigabit ethernet, external drives, etc. Now speaking of external drives, you get three 10 gigabit per second USB type A ports, which is great for connecting to SSDs. So you can see I have my Samsung T5, a Samsung T7, and I have a SanDisk USB flash drive connected to this dock all at the same time. So that Samsung T7 Shield or the T5 is going to be able to connect at its full potential. You can see right here in System Profiler, I can see the T7 Shield drive connected at up to 10 gigabits per second, which is exactly what we're looking for. But it doesn't stop there. You also get support for a variety of different display configurations, two 5K displays, a single 4K, 5K, 6K, or even an 8K display. So this dock makes it super easy to connect to Thunderbolt monitors like the Pro Display XDR or the Studio Display. But if you own a monitor that's only equipped with DisplayPort or HDMI ports, no big deal, right? An inexpensive Thunderbolt compatible USB-C to DisplayPort or HDMI adapter cable will allow you to connect with ease. And one of the biggest advantages when using a Thunderbolt dock is that when you connect your MacBook Pro, it charges your MacBook while you're enjoying the benefits of all the extra I.O. it brings to the table. So the Echo 11 Thunderbolt 4 dock provides up to 90 watts of USB power delivery, and that'll keep your laptop's battery topped off nicely. Now on the front of the dock, you'll notice a USB 2.0 charging port. This is great for charging your devices like an Apple Watch or an iPhone, or even connecting a keyboard or mouse that uses USB. Now, if you're like me and you regularly use fast SD card media, like this right here, UHS-2 enabled V60 or V90 cards, this SD card 4.0 slot is gonna do it justice. You can see the speed there for read and write. 
And the nice thing, Sonnet's attention to detail, yes, you insert the SD card, label side up. And the Echo 11 is Thunderbolt certified, so that means it works with Intel Macs or Apple Silicon Macs, it works with Windows machines, and as you can see right here, it plays nicely with the M1 or M2 iPad Pro. So ladies and gents, that has been a look at the Echo 11 Thunderbolt 4 dock from Sonnet. Click the link in the description to get yours today, and special thanks to Sonnet for sponsoring 9to5Mac on YouTube.